Black Widow paint scheme is considered by many fans of the Southern Pacific to be the most attractive freight livery that the railroad ever had. Even after the end of regular revenue steam operations on the Southern Pacific in November of 1956, the railroad was still a very interesting place. The locomotives at the front may have been different, but the operating practices were virtually the same. In this program, we will take a look at operations on the Shasta route in Northern California and into Oregon from the 8mm movie cameras of four different rail fans. The action starts off with a single GP9 running Long Hood Ford in the northern end of the Sacramento Valley with a single hopper and a caboose. An ABBB set of Fs lead a freight past Red Bank Yard just south of Red Bluff. One of the most impressive structures on the southern end of the Shasta route is the Redding Trestle. ABBF units lead their freight across the Sacramento River as they leave the valley behind and start their run into the southern tip of the Cascades. We get our first view of the Klamath, which was an all-stops local between Portland, Oregon and Oakland, California. During this time period in the early to mid-1960s, the train is in its last years of operation. We see the train again at Soda Creek south of Dunsmuir, with Mount Shasta dominating the landscape. give quick chase to this freight into Dunsmuir with this massive lash up of 7F units at the head end. BBBAFs lead an eastbound into Dunsmuir. Number 20, the eastbound Klamath arrives into Dunsmuir.
Payback Train is seen at South Mott before getting another view of the Klamath. finds an ABBA set of Fs hauling this early Autorack train. On this day, a pair of Illinois Central cars bring up the rear of the Klamath. Few passengers that make the monotonous journey on board trains 19 and 20 are treated to views of Klamath Lake as the train rolls through Chelsea and past Modoc Point. After the end of steam, SD9s became the main helper power in the Cascades. And here we see a classic SP scene with searchlights, cantilever, and those beautiful Cadillacs. Westbound crosses the Salt Creek Trestle over Highway 58 between Wicopee and Heather. A freight with ABAFs on the front and rear rolls through Oak Ridge as an SD9 switches the yard. ABAFs provide help to this freight out of Eugene. A pair of former SP Cab Ford tenders are seen in this work train consist with SD9 5408 at Eugene.
Also at Eugene is the last remaining Southern Pacific 482 Mountain, MT5-4367, considered to be the most aesthetically pleasing of all of Southern Pacific steam locomotives, especially when modernized with their skyline casing and daylight painted cabin tenders. The MT Class 482s were constructed by Alco and in Southern Pacific's Sacramento shops between 1923 and 1930. None of these locomotives survived into preservation when 4367 was cut up at Eugene in September of 1961. A freight departs Eugene with ABBFs on the front and ABA helpers toward the rear of the train. Klamath arrives into part Salem. Note the daylight painted head end car in the consist. Our look at SP Black Widow power on the Shasta route concludes with this trio of SD9s passing the out of service Brooks Depot. Note the loaded auto racks and the piggyback traffic toward the rear of the train.